Welcome back everybody to another episode of Anno 1800. Today I promise 100% we're going to be working primarily in Constantinople. Getting this settlement to the point that I can be like, alright, I know exactly where the direction is going and we can just leave it at that. So what the main goal is going to be is we're going to initially begin with upgrading all of these artisan homes to engineers right off the bat. Because I did want a majority of them to be um, engineers here anyway. Why are you guys doing it? Ah, yeah, because you're far away from the school and the university, right? Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Like, you know what's going to happen? That's what's going to happen. If you can't walk all the way to the school, then don't expect me to actually care if you start complaining. All right, put one of that in there and a gazebo plaza right there. See? Easy, quick fixes. And we gotta get the skin right, so go ahead and do that three times. I didn't want to get that first one, but whatever, because my Your city has grown more beautiful. My game just likes to do that to me for some stupid reason. Okay, so we got technically the form of the ox is done-ish, but I do want to work on beautification as always. And then what I'm thinking is this section here is kind of wonky i still don't particularly like it but we can fix it i think let's get rid of that let's also get rid of this because we're not going to need it anymore we need to put something in this little corridor something that makes sense we are also not going to need the school here either so honestly i would just bring the road further forward get rid of this and you know what we can do? I hate to say it, but we might actually be able to plop one of these big bastards down. If we position the university a little bit differently, we can definitely have tourists. Ugh. Okay, let me get this at least situated. We can have the hotel be like... Right here? Yeah. Let we'll the hotel be right here. So then we're gonna have to have a road connection... We'll have it go from here, because they're going to need the bus stop. So we'll put the bus stop right there. And we will continue on with the road until we reach here. Okay, the road is going to go once more to here, but we will have the cafe or the restaurant be primarily here. They do not have a, they don't want to walk apparently. That's <laughs> shocker. And then we'll have the university somewhere behind if it works. Okay, so that didn't really work out as planned. Maybe I can put the restaurant over in like this corner. So get rid of that because the university is gonna matter. The uh, restaurant is not in the grand scheme of things. So we'll put this right here. Instead, I will bring the road one more tile forward, but I'm also gonna bend it over back here. So get rid of this one. And that would mean I can put like a nifty little fence around to hopefully prevent any stupidity originating from these idiots. So how big is that restaurant again? Can I like plop it down over a here? Fire broke out. I, the, the, okay, at least it wasn't an explosion. It was just a fire. They can fix that, right? I hope. Yep, we can do this. We can put a restaurant with like a portion of it in the street. So get rid of this, I think it was this much. And we can plop it down, I got rid of like one extra bit. I can actually put it here and then get rid of this little part as well for the bus stop. There we go. That works. I can probably like consider the cafe or something further down, but at the moment I think it's okay. Did I actually change the university skins over here no i didn't i kept to the to the main one i want to get up in here that that's my main goal because they are going to be up to investors and we can actually upgrade them but then the plan is actually going to be um get a whole bunch of uh, investors up in here and then start the skyscraper construction here on constantinople which is going to be really badass so over in this corner it's kind of unfortunately like empty spot but you know what here's what i'm thinking 
I really like this whole, like, different color grass idea. So maybe I can try to replicate it back here. Let's see what I can do. The ingenious device is complete. I don't even know what the hell I'm researching anymore. I'll have to go back and see. <laughs> we'll have... Like this. Because I don't foresee us actually building anything in these areas. Or right around the... Uh, let's see, maybe over in here? No, I don't think I'll do it here either. I just don't see a need to. Because I, I really wanted to keep to the whole, like, there are certain areas of Constantinople that are depopulated. But I mean, honestly, we did actually, like, rebuild this population ridiculously fast. So, we have that set up. I think if I were to bring in the other one, then it'll look a lot nicer too. So, where's the longer section? Here. Let's grab that one. And we're going to plop it down in between. See what we can do. Yeah, that looks nice. It makes it pop from up here. Okay, good. And some right there. It's going to look nice. Uh, I'll put, like, individual bits down here. That, that, and that. Okay. There's an empty section. There's an empty section right there. Okay. Grab one. Pull it forward. And we'll just do regular back here. We will need some here and then some here. Grab this one, plop it there, pull that forward. Okay. That actually looks quite nice now that we have a grass set up here. This empty area can probably be like some additional things for beautification. Uh, what can we put? I feel like, see like the World's Fair Pavilion would work nicely. They are pretty buildings, but you know, that's the one thing that I didn't actually build here was the, um, were like actual statues and columns. Not like a decent amount, you know? I, I felt like sh I should definitely have done more. Um, the obelisk of Pope Lucius IV is actually not bad over here. I am quite digging that, actually. Yeah, we'll keep it then. We'll definitely keep it. And we'll put some of this nice paving around it. That's definitely one. We need a column of Constantine somewhere. I also want to work over in the front here because we need we have a whole bunch of Docklands um, ornaments that we have not been using. And it's important considering how this is technically a Dock territory, right? Now, is there a possible way for me to actually have a, a warehouse somewhere around here? I don't think so. Unless I were to destroy like this engineer home and like plop it back here. Cause I was initially thinking of having some, uh, what do they call it? Like the fisher, the fisheries over here. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, well, it's, it's kind of redundant. If I really want it for beautification, sure. But overall, I didn't, I didn't think it was a good idea. I'm just gonna smooth it out along here as much as I possibly can, because I'm gonna do my best to try to utilize as many of the Dockland stuff as possible without it looking too spammy. So those are the keys. Okay, now the really cool one. What the hell? What the? Oh. <gasps> what the fuck? No, you come on, man. What the shit? This city is a magnet for genius. What the hell, man? Oh, come the fuck on. I thought, oh, oh, I put one over and did I not build one at all? Huh, I completely forgot a fire station. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. So that happened. Um, I really like the Docklands. That completely threw me off guard. I really like the Docklands, like, moored freighters and stuff like this. I feel like it would look nice, but what I want to do is actually work on probably get rid of this side. 
This should be a little bit better, I think. So we'll have, like, doubles like this. And then I feel like the Mord Freighter's not probably here. I kind of am digging this one because you can actually have multiple, I think. If I position it well enough. There we go. Have one there. And I flip that around. You can have another one right here. Looking pretty good. Can't, like, box that one in. That would be really unfortunate. Have one, like, right here, and then you can have another one right here. So, essentially, what I'm trying to simulate here is a seaport. For all, like, the little industrial things that they need to do from time to time. But, at the same time, make it look really nice. Dockland shifts. Ooh. Or skiffs. There they go, the skiffs. Very cool. We have loading barges. We can definitely have, like, one right here, and then one right here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I used to live in a place that actually had a really nice harbor. And one thing that I always enjoyed doing was going all the way to the end in order to, like, hang out around, like, the benches and stuff over there. And it always looked really nice. So I like this whole extension to just have people walk through. The only thing I dislike about the keys is just the fact that you have, like, all this bunch of crap everywhere. If there's a way to get rid of it, I'm gonna look it up. Because I, I personally, at, at the moment, I don't really want to have this much of that stuff over here. I'd rather have, like, seating arrangements kind of like this, you know what I mean? Have really nice seating going through. You're coming over, you're seeing all the ships, you know, you're bringing your sweetheart over here. You don't want to be walking through a whole bunch of crates and barrels, do you? No. I know I wouldn't. I think that looks rather nice. Yeah, I think that looks rather nice. So we'll have that one. We could actually extend this further. So I can actually copy this and get another boat right over here. And maybe even do one more right here. That looks pretty good. I do like these ships. I really like the Docklands um, stuffs right here. So like, hell, I can even probably put like a lighthouse or something over here. We want a crimson one or do we want a pale one? No, I don't like the look of the pale one. Not the crimson one. There we go. Looks nice back here. I like it. What other things can we do? Well, we have a crap ton of that stuff. Uh, well, you know what? We can have a bridge of sorts like this. And then we'll have another extension, but a smaller one. So where is it aligned to? Like right here? Okay. Have another one, but we'll stop it like right here. And then we'll extend it over to this side. Because this is also going to be where some more ships are going to be. The fire left ruins behind. That'll be fine. I'll fix it in a second. Have a ship there. Ship here. And one here. Alright, head back over here to fix my damn blunder. That's so embarrassing. I really thought I could feel it. Okay, well, is there another one? Yeah, there's one back here. Destroy it. Do me a favor. Put another one of these, like, right in this corner. There you go. Now, there shouldn't be any other issues with regards to fires over here. At least, I hope. And... In the middle here, I could definitely put a couple more ships. I don't still want to spam it. I wish I could actually have, like, some Docklands associated buildings. So I won't actually have to, like, spam specific things. But I don't think it's too spammy, is it? I actually think it looks very nice. We'll have a couple more seating arrangements. We'll have them face this way. Uh, one right here will do. Because these all add to the beauty of Constantinople in general. We'll have a... Oh, we can put a plant, like, right there. And we'll put one right there, too. I could probably try to do this on the similar... Our fire broke out. Where are the, all these fires, man? Hello? Oh, crap. Words can't express how grateful we are. Words can't express how many fires I've already had. Like, uh, what? 
Okay, get to work on that one. I didn't know that this was uh, definitely gonna happen this episode. I was not anticipating it. I do like the plants here, though. I'm just trying to beautify a game. They, they, see, this is what happens every single time. I try to do something nice, and then Anno's like, No, screw you, man. You, you don't get that option. Oh. Hold on. Uh, no, I kind of like the beefy boy. Yeah, I like the beefy boy the most. But then the middle, we'll have, like, some of these nice trees in between. That'll actually get rid of these awful barrels and crates, so, you know what? That looks better. I'd rather have that in a clear key walkway through here than actually seeing all those barrels and crates. I like that. Let me do the same over here, then. Let's use another one. Uh, flip that around for me, pull up that right there, and then we will do the same right here, same right here. Uh, you want to be an ass, don't you? What can I put in the middle here? Uh, well, I could just put, like, a single lamp. It wouldn't be terrible. But I kind of like this kiosk more, so we're going to put the kiosk. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot nicer. I was really wanting to work on this side of the settlement for some time now. Let's go ahead and actually link this all up. So make it, a, like, one big spot right over here. Because we're going to need some more ships. These are canvas crates, I don't want those. What's the difference here? Oh, so that's where, okay, that actually pushes it forward. As, well, these ones actually have like, they're docked on their side. Oh, okay, I see that now. That would be horrible to try to back into. Uh, let's get that one right there. We'll get another one right over here. And we'll have the moored freighters right over here. One right here. And one right here. Nice! A really nice harbor area in the back here. Finally. Whole bunch of little ships. We're saying like we have a whole bunch of trade, obviously, that goes through Constantinople, so. As far as ornaments back here, I really like these clotheslines, so we're gonna put some of those down. Because this is like a little bit of um, outskirts, if you will. Let's put some hay bales down. Uh, the fire has been vanquished. Put, like, some steel beams. Cargo sack is too large. We'll have crates instead. Put that over there. I feel like Tempered Grove over back here is probably going to be the best option. The people celebrate your leadership. Nice. Let's put the Tempered Grove down. Oh, so here. And along the side of the wall here. In the front, I'll do something with the, the whole farmer's market idea. Once more, I'll expand on it and put some over here. Perfect. So we got this section done. Now we have to work over here. We have like this major fishmonger stands and whatnot. So I kind of want to branch out a little bit more and probably put like some cheese, some grocery stalls. Let's put them right against one another. That's fine. Uh, water trough is uh, probably going to be a really good idea over here. Uh, we will put down a steel clock house right there. And, uh, who said they can't have some fish sandwiches while they're here? So I will move the cheesemonger stall one further down here. And have a little farmer's stall back there. Have some family tables in the front. Little booth to call your loved ones, and a street light over there. So we finally got this area done. Holy crap, it looks very nice. Filling in this area as well. I guess I can do the same over here too with these. So let's go ahead and continue on with the whole stripey stripe design. Because I quite like it. When I initially saw Lemon posted on the Discord, I was like, God damn, that actually looks really nice. I never really thought about that, which you guys should totally join if you haven't done so already. Smile. Uh, this would be right here, and this would be right here, and that's good. Get the rest of these all filled up. 
Uh, let's go over there. This one needs to get filled right here, and then we'll do the same. Very cool. So now all this area has really nice maintained grass and all that good stuff. So now we have to work over in here, which is going to be fun. We have King George's Monument over here, but I'm going to need brass. Where's the Comnena set? You're in Dishwater. Why are you here? I don't remember why you're here. Sky's the limit. Head over there, please. Because the upper city of... Constantinople is definitely going to need a lot of TLC. And I mean a lot of it. So, like, there's still empty patches, like, over in here. Have a newspaper stand, like, right here. Have, like, two seating arrangements. We'll put a little statue over on this side. Go over here. And grab some trees and really try to find like all these little pockets like over here i did put these cypress trees down but now i'm not feeling it what instead i will do is go back over here who says you can't have grocers everywhere you go right florist stall and then a farmer stall there we go that looks better in my opinion this is also a balloon. There's an empty patch right here. What can I put down? You know what? Actually, I know exactly what to put down. Put a clock. I think Temperate Grove around here is also going to do well. Maybe not back here. This... Why the hell did I put like a singular post box right here? That's not going to matter. Let me see, which one of these fountains... Will this big one fit in here? No, it won't. So I'm going to have to go to this one. Yeah, that one works. Temperate Grove. Looking good. Going to see the same back here, and then the same over here. This side seems to be fine. I'll just put some over here. Over here as well, and over there. Definitely put like a fountain or something in this little section here. Or what can I put from here? Is this gonna fit? No, it's too large. World's Fair Tower. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we have it. Why Why don't we use it? Yeah, there we go. I I could have honestly put down a victory column or Nadaski's column here too. Maybe Nadaski's column is actually a better idea. Yeah, it is better. So get rid of this. We will put down Nadaski's column right here. So that means we're going to have to get some resources and put down the nice mosaic paving. Yeah, so we. I'm trying to simulate as much as I can this settlement being that prestigious. So it's definitely going to take time. I have... Temperate Grove back here because I just don't really want to build anything over there in that particular fashion. Do the same over here. And right here. Nice. So over here, what, am I, what the hell am I going to do? I did have a restaurant over here, did I not? I think I put it over there. To think of all the opportunities I'd miss out on without the bus. I mean, you can always walk. That's also a thing. I know it's difficult for you, but... You know, just throwing that little bit out there. We can have a cafe over here. And have touristy crap around it. Where are they? Right here. Got a blueprint. Put that there. Where's that lookout point? Right here. Yeah, let's put one there. Have a pavilion there, a pavilion here. Some nice trees around. Postcards. I'm forgetting something so totally crucial. There we go. I think that's actually sufficient. I don't really want to overload it too much. 
Go over here and get a whole bunch of paving like so, and we're good. So we got the cafe set up over here as well. Where are you? I need you to bring me a lot of stuff. Specifically brass. Onwards. Bring it over to here. So with the whole town halls and whatnot, they're going to be pretty important in trying to manage their needs. Why aren't you getting electricity? Oh. Well, how did I make this mistake? How about now? Now you should be good. These guys back here won't get electricity, which is okay. I can always, once I get the palace built in Brantium, the extension of this local department is going to be better. And over here we'll get um, some decent amount of electricity coverage, which is fine. I don't know about this. I'm still debating whether I want to upgrade that part or not. I need tempered growth back here. Let's go ahead and build that all up. Still some room back here too. Very nice and pretty. I think I got it all. I always hate, like, this odd shape. Uh, we have to end this guy's memorial was too large. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just put the elephant fountain. There we go. That works. The little section over here needs to get all fixed up. Let's go ahead and put down a very important banner. And a tall boxwood. Nice. So we got that situated. We got... All the other areas pretty much done. Not gonna worry about this side. This side's gonna be hell in order to try to upgrade at this point. So now I'm just trying to see in between the buildings if there's anything I haven't done. So like over in here I haven't done anything. And what I can just easily do is I could put down either this fence or particularly this hedge. And I kind of like the hedge a little bit more. I'll put the hedge down here as well. Uh, this side looks okay, that's okay. Put a hedge down over here. Actually, instead of the hedge here... No, 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 no. I'll tell you what I'll do. Instead of this here... We're gonna go over to the touristy thing and we're gonna put down the purple. I'm also gonna do the same over here, that's not what I wanted. I don't always click the wrong damn option. I have an excessive need to constantly click. I, I'm well aware of this. Up here, I don't like this. I really don't. I'm gonna have to work to try to get rid of it or make it look a little bit nice. Iron Tower Kiosk uh, Street Map. Put a music pavilion over here. I feel like that, that would be nice. And an ornate pavilion. Where's the walkway? I think it was it was right here. There we go. That's the walkway to get in. This side is gonna be a little bit wonky. An especially exquisite. Nope. You lack the guts to carry it through. Why don't you do it then? Hello? Don't you have ships? Don't you have influence? Outstanding. I don't waste my time with their bullshit. Okay, that's the last of that rant. I think Temperate Grover in this corner would actually work wonders. Let me try it. Just so it's like, kind of hidden. Because I don't particularly like the fact that I have a power plant up here. I really don't. I'm being very honest with you. I know why I have to have it, but I just... I. <laughs> I don't. I don't like- There's the watering hole! Wait a minute. There's the well! Oh, okay, now I know where the well is. I'll just- I, I was going freaking crazy in the previous episode. Like, I know for a fact there was a freaking well in this game. And then why couldn't I find it? I don't know. Because I'm- I don't- it's crazy? Stupid? All the above? I, I don't- I don't fucking know at this point. If you find out, please let me know, because uh, my mother will also be very interested in hearing your findings. 
I think the most uh, crucial thing are definitely banners here. And then we can go to this one, put down another Iron Tower kiosk. Street map. What's this? The souvenir shop. Uh, put postcards right over here. Tree, tree, tree. Luggage carts. That's a signpost. I'll put it down just for shits and giggles. What do I do back here? Holy crap. Uh, how about a balloon? A hot air balloon. Yeah. Let's put a hot air balloon here. Hey, get the purple one. It needs to be the purple one. Yeah, there we go. And then we will have a skyscraper model back here. Ooh, some water fountains. Nice. Okay, I totally forgot about those. I kind of want to use them in another spot now. And I think over in the middle here is definitely worth it. Over this side, I think maybe the fence is going to be better. Yeah, I like the fence. But then over back here, I'm going to put the really nice flower beds. The purple ones. Go all around you. There you go. That looks good. I don't know what I'm going to do up here. I'm going to leave it blank for now. Put that right there, and then we'll put individual ones. I think I can find the one that has the little one middle. That No, it was this one. Um, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Okay, well, that's a decent amount of beautification. That's honestly something that I've wanted to do for quite some time up in here. And we have this thing actually built, which is fantastic. So now the main goal is going to be to start upgrading these guys to investors. And they are getting local mail. Are they not? How come you're not getting local mail? Excuse you? Put all this in here because I know I'm going to have to bring over a crap ton just to build these monuments. Build the desk is column, looking good. And then, can I build this? What do you need? You need some limestone. Okay, go over here and give me some limestone. Engines engaged. I don't need you to do anything else for me. This settlement has definitely popped really well. And I think, as far as, like, efficiency is concerned, it's pretty damn up there. It just needs a little bit more uh, attention these days. Because our focus has kind of been split on multiple different areas of the Imperium, and it happens. When you when you play this game, that's what you're going to have to experience every single time. You're like, okay, today I'm going to focus on this area alone. Then, bam, the entire dynamic changes because you're like, oh, shit, I have to go over there and do that thing, for example. Oh, I got to do this. Chip under attack. He can come out of every single fucking place, then. It doesn't matter. He's gonna start shooting at my goddamn harbor now. Is he? Yeah, he'll probably get like a pot shot or two off. Let's see if it actually like... Fire, asshole! Oh no, you don't want to. No, that's fine. Yeah, just be that way. See if I care. What you call mania? I call ecstasy. Do we have gramophones here and felt? I know we have the other ones. Gramophone, gramophone, gramophone. Mm, no gramophones. What about felt? We have 11 felt. Okay, I'm gonna bring the common nose over with some of the, with both of those from Ditchwater. Okay, what do I need? I needed limestone, right? Where that at though? There. Is that cement? It's fucking cement, dude. What the fuck? It, it's a limestone quarry, then it turns into cement, and then it turns into reinforced concrete. I hate this game. I absolutely hate this game sometimes. Okay, bring over all that, because that's all I'm really going to need right now. And then I need to get more resources over there to tear down so we can continue on with uh, the whole influence generation. I'm also just going to build these restaurants for the hell of it. They're not actually being used. They're just there. They're pawn paws, so... I want it working at least. Uh, did I have anything else I need to build over here? Any other blueprints? I know I have blueprints up here. 
mostly in the form of town halls. So build that one, build that one, build that one, and then this one. Because what I want to do is actually put the actor in here. Oh, are these empty spots? What the hell? Why didn't I actually work on this? Photography nook and a street map. There we go. Why didn't I work on that? Or you know what? I was probably working on something or I wanted to do something in particular with it and then it just didn't happen. So now you need a uh, you need a bus to you, right? Here's what I'm gonna have to do. Get rid of the stuff in the back. Go over here to the tourists, plop that thing over here, and then build a road connection. That's the only way that this is gonna work. I'm not getting rid of the other stuff. So what's the... It's a beguiling capital. That's pretty damn good. Pollution's only coming from the oil refinery, which sucks ass, but it is what it is, honestly. Can't do anything about it. Their health needs are good, so I'm actually happy that we don't have any health-related issues here on Constantinople. It's working very well, even though it's been... I hate to say it, but we did actually neglect Constantinople for quite some time because we had to attend to the other things. But right now, I think it's golden. Excuse me while I take a sip of my tea. We're going to have to get rid of this marketplace, unfortunately. And we're going to have to build a members club because this is going to be real damn important. So uh, we would have to get rid of a portion of the road right here unless we get rid of the fire station which i can do probably and stuff it somewhere else oh man that sucks because i feel like if i were to put this here no it will work because the electricity is going to both sides under attack. no one cares get rid of that and we will put down the members club like right here this time, I'm going to get in with the right people. Who wants to place a bet that they're not going to win again? This one's here. This one's up here. We're going to need one up in the top. You know what? We can actually probably try to fit one over here. Where is the members club? Things are hard enough as it is. Then don't try. I don't know. This is so many times you have attempted to take back your stupid island. You're not going to do it, man. It's not going to happen. There's no way in hell I'm letting you actually come back into this game. Absolutely not. Maybe put the members club back here. Please work. Please work. Nice, it works. We will plot it down right here. Put the road connection to it. So now the entirety of the top end should be covered with the members club need, right? Yeah, it does. Because we have three over in here. Perfect. We got everything they need for investors, and we're going to start upgrading them in a moment. But I definitely want to make sure that I have more of the cool ornaments. See, like, I can put down a World's Pavilion here. Maybe... Hold on. It's not the button I wanted at all. Is it the same size as that? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's plop that down. Ooh, wait a minute. This is a tail end? Yeah. Wait a minute. This might actually look a little bit better. Let me cook. The people celebrate your leadership. Get rid of this shit. Put this one like right here and then go back over here grab this nope wrong one okay i'm digging this we have some uh fountains so i will get rid of random ones plop down the fountains in there Ooh, wait a minute. 
I could have put one right here. Hold on. Patrick, don't look. There we go. We needed some, some archways in here. I definitely believe we did. I'm not going to use the mosaic paving here, but what I'll will do is I'll go over to the other packs and work on utilizing like our banners. So I'll put a banner here. Maybe I don't think this is a, well. This one would work. We can put that in the back here, and then a nice walkway through the middle. Nice walkway over here. No, we should probably... Yeah, no, never mind. If they fall, they fall. Whatever. Kind of like a standard thing, but I do want to make it look a little bit nicer. Put that over there. They have plenty of seating over here, which is good. I already have that statue there, but I kind of want to put another one here. And then, as I have done previously, let's get rid of this one. There we go. That looks rather nice. That looks rather nice. We just need to get that uh, archway set up. So build the obelisk as well. Can I? Do I have enough for this one? I don't. I didn't see what I needed. I need gold here. Okay, hold on. I can definitely get some gold. I'll just get it from Anne to keep her happy. Buy like a little bit from her. Yeah, I definitely want to do a, a beauty build episode as well for Constantinople once we have a lot of skyscrapers and stuff in here, because that'll be really worthwhile. I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes to the department stores and whatnot, because putting those shits down at this stage is going to be really hellish. It would make sense to have them in Rantium, though, because I do have room and there is plenty of space to actually like work on that. Not here. I don't really want to. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't, don't make me destroy more of this. <laughs> don't make me do it. But it does look very pretty. I'm I'm glad we actually got it done. I have to be resourceful. Oh, well, you poor thing. Okay, let's see where should we actually start with the upgrading. I feel like this is where we I started initially. I feel like this too, and then these guys for sure. You guys can do the same. This one here, these guys here. These you ones. A new milestone. Thank you. And these guys. So we have a lot of investors already. I don't know if we actually have routes here for them with regards to those goods. Uh, where's a champagne route? I definitely know I need to bring champagne. We have champagne here, we have cigars, oh, we have chocolate. Oh, because of the um, the festivals that we've had here. That's good. That's very good. So where are you at? You're here, you need to bring some gold. And then you need to bring... Okay. Should have prized it from your cold, dead hands. Okay, sheesh. Asshat, you don't need to be that way. What else do they need? As far as their happiness are concerned? Yeah, tapestries is... Mm, I don't know about that one. Furs, we can definitely do. Oh, their luxury needs. That's the one I was... Their happiness, that's the one. Uh, pocket watches and jewelry. I can definitely bring those over. Easy. I even have a free ship. They'll do it. The Angel Clear. Let's get you from... No, not the Freedom. Don't do it. Don't use that. We're going to bring over some jewelry. And I definitely know we have pocket watches here in abundance. And you're gonna bring them over to Constantinople. Easy peasy. Hold only. Go. Continue. And I'm not gonna change the actual color of their skin here. 
for their buildings. Uh, I'm just going to focus on keeping them as is because the moment I actually start working on the steam carriages is when we're going to start upgrading the skyscrapers and you cannot change the color of the skyscraper buildings, which I think is stupid. The only thing you can change is the top ends for your promenades and whatnot. And when it comes down to the steam carriages, I've actually decided once again that they will be here on Isengard and we have a lot of supply issues. Why is this happening? Oh crap. Is that gonna actually go through? Do that. Oh nice, we got some more influence then. Plop this stuff down in here, and then you're gonna go to Ditchwater, grab felt and champagne, and all that good stuff, and head on over there. Popular than before. Now, where is that thing? Oh, yeah, it was back here. Victory Arch. I want to put them at other locations as well, I just don't know where to put it exactly, because I've actually gone ahead and, like, placed everything at proper spots for the settlement, so... Putting anything else in here is definitely going to be hell in a handbasket. What I might actually consider doing is getting rid of these uh, sawmills because they're okay. really affecting the amount of um, timber that's coming through here or wood. So I'll get rid of these three again. Everyone else needs it more than more than these sawmills. I can always just put those elsewhere, which is entirely possible. I don't know why I haven't. Wouldn't it be? That's not you. So what did you need here again? Just to be completely clear. Felt and gramophones. Got it. Because I need the maximum amount of influence at this point. Jesus, those things are so loud. Yeah, okay. You know what? I made the decision. I'm gonna do it. Get them to artisans. And do the same in the front here. If you can. No, no, because there's no school. Oh boy. Yeah, well, okay. Then these guys are gonna stay as workers. And that's okay. We have just a couple. Not a big deal. What skin should we put for them here then? Uh, This one? Not too bad. Oh, you know what? I quite like that one. Inverted, not so much. Oh, okay. Old residence it is, man. I'm gonna click on each individual one. Screw it. Yeah, the old one for sure. It just adds a whole different level of detail. I love it. We're gonna change the marketplace as well to the open air. It'll make it look a lot nicer out here too. Nice. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, actually, no, because this... Hold on. There we go. This would work ironically. Yeah, I, I like that. Let's just keep it like that. We got the houses change. Let's go for a little walkthrough, shall we? I think that's really important to do. So this is like your fishmonger saw. Oh, there's the obelisk. It's actually very pretty. Look at that sky view. You have the bank right over there. You have the obelisk. You have the additional homes. This is just your old town feel. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Let's go into the city itself. Because we actually haven't had a walkthrough of Constantinople for quite some time now. We gotta make it dramatic. Oh, wow, these are such beautiful banners. I love these banners, man. This is the best freaking ornament in all of Anno 1800. Changed my mind. Wow. It's crazy to think that Gasparov actually had this island at some point. Wow. Incredible. 
So we got our post office right over here. It's working very well. Our glorious bank. Random kid. <laughs> I'm kind of in a trance right now. I I'm really just like besides myself at how beautiful this place is. There's a train going through. Nice. We have the beautiful grass right over here. And people waiting at the airport to travel over to the other court corners of the Imperium. Waiting for an airship to come in and take them. They're getting their tickets and everything right over here and just waiting. These guys seem to be like either having popcorn or they're just pissed. One of the two. For the airmail system is over here. Don't worry, the airship will be here soon. I I'd like to think that the Imperium's air fleet is on time. The people celebrate your leadership. I don't know where the heck that is, but if it's here, that would be really cool. Oh, look how many people are actually sitting around this tree. And then you also have like the Anno tours because you know you're gonna need them. They're gonna go through here, and then the souvenir shack, more souvenirs, another ornate pavilion. Oh, we got some uh, some of our TSA agents over here. As you were. Oh, I love how they're walking in the grass area, too. Because essentially it is a big park. It's not just an empty area that's not been developed. I quite like that. Oh, I need banners in the front here. Even though I have banners, like, right over there. I can't get rid of this market. Uh, it, there at least has to be one market stall around here. Another restaurant, which is good. We got our beautiful fountain right over here. Tons of people around. What you guys selling? Let me see. Uh, oh, is that those cigars? Damn, dude. Man's not even worried at all. The freaking police station is right over there. What if that's contraband? Let's see our train go through. Awesome. Now we can cross the street like responsible people and actually wait for the damn train to cross before we do so. So here are our first investor homes over here in Constantinople. And you see like the hedgeway through actually adds a lot of really nice flavor to it in my opinion. I just like it's static, yes, but it makes sense to my crazy brain. Oh, I need to work on this whole section. And now when you walk around, you see what you haven't done. And we got another post office over here. Got the other power plant over in that corner. This dude's taking a picture of old Nate. Nice. Oh, you can see Nadaski's calling from over here. Let me see if I can actually get close. This city is a magnet for genius. Oh, thanks, but uh, I'll just recruit him from another place. Let's go over in this corner. Holy moly, that's so cool. I can't get through here. Dude, that's not old Nate. The hell? Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's a ton of pigeons over here. Run right through them. See them fly around. Let's go through the town over on this side. The bank mod, hands down, is probably one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in this game. And it works so well with our stuff, you know? It is gorgeous. And you look at that. Like, when you put this ornament along with the World's Fair, it just does something different. Such a surreal effect these games provide. And when you get to this point, it's just something else entirely. So we're going to walk around here, around the World's Fair, because we've also put down some ornaments as well for, like, farmer's markets and 
Oh, that's a lot of good cheese. Feel it reflects the times. Oh, I have to actually get out for this. Unbelievable. Is that beer and ice? Dude, give me some beer and some ice. Select bottle beer, extra pale. Nice. Can I? Hey, hey, hey. I'll like buy your entire stock in there right now. Bet. No? Okay. Places to be? People to see? Oh, there's another guy. Just take it from this one. Yeah, and we have this unfortunate clay pit in the middle here, but that is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it too much anymore. I want to go see those archways. Ooh, very nice. Yep, they were needed. 100% they were needed. And let's see how many people are up here. Yeah, these fountains, man, they, they're really nice in the channels. And people are sitting here already, which is fantastic. Members club, and then another bank over here. Yeah, absolutely glorious settlement. Once we get skyscrapers over in here, I can totally foresee a beauty build episode coming very, very quickly. All right, what the hell did you want? No church in ditch wasser. Ditch wasser. I mean, that's technically the right way of saying it, I think. Where the fuck? Where? I'm just curious. Where? Where? Where is the lack of a church? Right here? That that's it? You have to publish this? Such an ass. Problem solved. Hey, guess what? All of them now have the church need done. All the way to back here, probably. Yeah, they have something. They, they something's better than nothing. Period. Dot the end. Okay, you're done. They'd go for a song at auction. Give me more of these. Okay, before we forget, where's the felt at? Well, we need gramophones, that's for certain. Uh, felt over here. We're also gonna need some champagne. Uh, let's do this. And then head over to Terra Donge immediately, thank you. So it was a very productive episode, I feel. We can actually upgrade some more. Make all these guys investors, probably. Let's get these guys. I don't know how much more timber I have, but we have a decent amount of them that are investors now. How come you didn't upgrade? Ah, because you don't have electricity? Oh, that's really unfortunate. Well, bye-bye. Fountain. Banner. <laughs> Love it when a plant comes together. <laughs> oh, boy. That's always great. Is there enough banners over in this corner? I don't see... Oh, there's a banner there. I'll pull the banner back one. And then get that there. Looking good. Okay, so where was that empty spot that I didn't work on? Oh, it's here. You know what I'll do instead? I'll just put a row through. A row through will look better than ornaments, in my opinion. So I'm going to need a ton more timber over here. But I do have a ship that's bringing in resources. Problem is, like... I don't have the capability of actually making a ton over here. What? What? Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that makes sense. I need to get the elevators really working. There's a lot of um, little things that I need to really work on. So I will definitely see about getting this complex all built up. I don't think I'm going to need the sewing machines here. I'm just going to make a big complex for elevators. That's probably a better idea. And then I was thinking uh, for tight shawl that I was actually going to make this a another little mini industrial island, but only have furnaces. Look at that. It's got some random bit of road here. So I'm going to change the fertility or the ore types for all of these mines to iron. And 
then I will have a whole bunch of charcoal kilns and everything, because it's kind of out of the way. It's right next to the Isengard, so I think I can produce a ton of it and just constantly ferry it over, because these guys are going to need a lot of um, steel. And I need to also work on these smaller islands some more, because that's also pretty damn important that these guys are working. And one of them is going to just be iron. Widow Magna also. Maybe I can just get iron from Widow Magna. Yeah, that works. That works entirely. But this is where we're going to end the episode off today. Definitely did a lot of really cool stuff here today in Constantinople. Built it up a considerable amount. And I'm just excited to see the, all the skyscrapers pop up in this section of the city. So, until next time, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button, share it with your friends. Oh, thrilling. A renowned personage has arrived. And yet again, th th this one in particular decides that she wants to interrupt me. Okay, fantastic. That's how we end the episode off. There wasn't an explosion, but um, half a city did burn down. That's different. We're not going to talk about it too much. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next episode, guys.